Would you like to speak with a therapist online over Skype? If so, please contact me through my website. I offer online psychotherapy um, via Skype for help with anxiety and depression and many other uh, common psychological problems that can be managed through the methods of mindfulness therapy. This is a very exciting and very effective approach for overcoming those patterns of habitual emotional reactivity. Um, we learn how to change the relationship that we have to our emotions. This is the key uh, feature of mindfulness therapy. So the emotions are what provide the power, if you like, for um, everything in the mind. Uh, in mindfulness psychology, we understand that emotions precede thoughts, not the other way around, as is taught um, in CBT, for example. Um, if you're feeling afraid or angry, you are likely to start generating thoughts of, uh, based around fear or, or anger. Um, if there is no emotion preceding those thoughts, then those thoughts don't form in the first place. Um, or if they do, they resolve very, very quickly. So working with the underlying emotions is key. And what we focus on in mindfulness therapy is forming a conscious relationship that's also based on um, friendliness and compassion with those uh, painful emotions like anxiety and depression or shame or guilt or compulsion in the case of an addiction. Whatever it might be, we have to fundamentally change the relationship that we have with those uh, emotions. Typically, we don't have a good relationship with our emotions. We simply react to them with more uh, suffering um, and more uh, reactive thoughts that simply feed those emotions um, and make them more painful and also prevents prevent them from healing. Um, they cannot heal if you continue to react to them um, and feed them. Okay, We have to learn how to sit with our emotions without reacting. That is the key first step in mindfulness training. Uh, and we do this by actually meditating on our emotions. Uh, we don't waste time talking about our emotions. That tends to simply feed the problem. Um, we instead focus our time on changing our relationship to our emotions so that we can hold them in conscious awareness without becoming identified with them and without reacting um, to them with cognitive reactivity or further emotional reactivity or even behavioral reactivity. An addiction is an example of behavioral uh, reactivity that's um, if you like, trying to escape uh, emotional pain. Uh, so we need to cultivate this very non-reactive relationship, first of all, with our emotions. Then the second phase of uh, our training is to learn how to work with those emotions in a way that helps them heal directly, not by trying to change our belief structure or understanding or exploring the past or reasons why we feel this way, that approach is not usually very effective. We work directly with the emotions. Typically, almost all emotional suffering is based around fear. So we need to learn how to comfort fear 
We need to learn how to relate to that fear in a way that will comfort it. We need to become like a, a friend or a parent to those uh, emotions that are in pain because that is what creates the, the healing. It's the quality of that relationship itself. Um, and it's, it takes some training, but not a lot. Most people already know the wisdom of this approach. Uh, it's natural. It's what you would do if you were comforting um, a friend or a child that, that was in pain. You would approach it in this way. You would first of all establish a very safe and non-reactive relationship with them. And then you would progress into finding ways to comfort them, which may be as simple as holding them or uh, just being quiet and listening to them. That quality of relationship is where the healing happens. The reactivity does not heal. Um, and even trying to understand your emotions and uh, conceptualize them is technically speaking just another form of cognitive reactivity. It doesn't usually heal the underlying emotion. So if you'd like to learn more about this approach please contact me and let's schedule a uh, Skype therapy session so you can see for yourself just how effective this uh, mindfulness therapy approach is especially for anxiety disorders and depression but I also work with addictions as well so contact me if this interests you thank you